Hi, and welcome to Steam Power Family. Today, we're building a water-powered car project. This is a really fun way to bring some physics and engineering into your STEM lessons. So first, we're going to gather up our supplies. Lists of everything that you need are available on the Steam Power Family website, as well as the diagrams here that we're using to do all of our cutting and measurements. So the first thing we're going to do is cut our jumbo craft sticks. We've done the craft sticks with multiple colors just because we thought it looked more interesting. The first two we're cutting are 14 and a half centimeters and we're leaving one rounded end on those. The next two are going to be nine centimeters and again leaving the rounded end on one end. And then for these last two we're actually cutting off the rounded ends but again cutting them to nine centimeters. We're going to use a box cutter and score the uh, jumbo craft sticks and then the ends will just snap off. You can use a little bit of sandpaper if you end up with a rough edge just to help smooth it out. But this is the easiest way to cut the craft sticks in a way that keeps them straight and safe. As with any of these, whenever you're doing working with anything sharp or hot, you always want to have adult supervision. So make sure that your students are being safe at all times. Now we're going to start assembling the frame of the car. So we're going to be gluing these craft sticks together. We want to make sure that everything is perfectly straight. We don't want to have a wobbly car. So we're just going to take these, we're going to mark where we want them to be glued down, take a glue gun and just glue them into place. And there's that side. And now we're going to take the two nine centimeter craft sticks that still have their rounded end and put it on the other side. And you can see this is, although it looks like a very complicated project, it actually is not that complicated. It's a really, really fun project to do with your kids for summer camp, STEM camp, classroom, after school activity, or homeschooling. So we're just making sure that everything is nice and straight. And now we're just gonna mark off where we want to uh, attach our cup, which we will be doing in a moment here once we've prepared it. So you can see we're using a plastic cup here. You could use a paper cup. It doesn't need to be plastic. We like the plastic just because we were able to see through it. So we could see what would be going on inside. But if you don't have uh, clear plastic cups, paper will work just fine. Now we're going to cut a little archway into both sides. So we did a little mark on each side there to make sure everything was nicely centered. And now we're just tracing this arch onto the side of the cup. You don't need to trace the arch on there. You can just do it yourself with freehand. Um, just make sure it goes up about halfway through your cup so that there will be room for the uh, turbine to turn inside of the water wheel. Now we're marking the center on the bottom of the cup and we're going to make a hole. And we're just using the glue gun just to burn a little hole through the middle there or melt a little hole through the middle there and just trim it off with some scissors. So again, we're not putting any glue in here. We're just using the heat from the end of the uh, gun there to melt that. So we're making sure our straw fits. And now we're just gonna cut those little archways out with a pair of scissors. And remember there's one on each side of the cup here. And that is what's going to allow the turbine to spin inside of the cup. And there we go. Let's get it all nicely cut out. Perfect. So now we're going to take that and remember we made those little marks on our thing. We're just making sure that everything is really nice and straight. We're going to take a pencil so we know where to put our glue and we're going to glue it onto the frame. And I thought about speeding up this video, but I've kept it a little slower just so that you can really see what we're doing with every single step. It just makes it a little easier to kind of keep track of exactly what we're doing here. As I said, this looks like a complicated project, but it really isn't. And the results definitely uh, are a big hit with the kids. So now we just have some plastic tubing. We have cut these to four centimeters for the two longer ones and one and a half centimeters for the shorter ones. And this is just tubing from like a fish tank or medical tubing. 
we're using some epoxy, rapid set epoxy, just because we found it helped to um, have the tubes adhere, but it does work with a glue gun as well. So you do not need to use the epoxy if you don't have it, just use a glue gun. If you have epoxy, it's something a little different that your kids can try and uh, use as part of their project. So now we're just going to attach these on the very ends and these are going to be like the axles um, that uh, or the anchor points for the axles for the car. So on the short side on those nine centimeter craft sticks we're attaching the short ones and then on the other side we are attaching the longer tubes. Now you'll notice that our tubes are a little curled and that's just how they come but we don't want them curled for this project. So after we've glued them down here, we're gonna grab a skewer and put it through there. And that helps to straighten them out while the glue is setting. So we end up with the nice straight anchor points for our wheels. We don't want any binding. We want those wheels to really move freely. So we wanna get those tubes really nice and straight. So now we've gathered up some bottle caps and we're going to mark the middle of each of the bottle caps. So you do this simply by measuring it each way and getting that center point and putting a little mark there with a pen. There we go, all of them are marked. Now we're just using an owl just to put a little hole through the middle of each one. Kids love this step. Whenever we get out the hammer, the kids always get excited. You could also use a nail to do this as well. There we go, so we've got a little hole in each one. And now we're just going to take them and attach them on a skewer here to make sure that they all fit nicely. Again, we wanna make sure that everything's going to spin nicely. So we want it to fit together, but we do want some freedom of movement. If there's any friction, as we've learned in many of our science activities, that's going to make it difficult for our car to uh, roll and move. So now we're just going to attach these two together and then we're going to take a little glue around the outside just to really seal it off nicely. Now we've taken some old CDs and we're going to glue basically hubcaps onto our uh, wheels here. So we're going to do one side, flip it over, and then we're going to do the other side. And remember when we were uh, at the beginning, you might have noticed that we're doing a three wheel car for this design. Your students can play with it and create a four wheel design if they wish, but we decided a three wheel was how we wanted to do this project. So there we go. So there's our three wheels all ready to go. And again, we're gonna take some glue, put it around the outside, make sure that everything's really nice and stuck. And there we go. Perfect. Now we're going to start assembling the turbine. So we've taken a little bit of blue tack just because it helps us to uh, hold those bottle caps in place so they're not rolling around and we want to go around and measure out where we want them placed. Now there isn't any specific measurement we're doing here. We're just setting it, eyeballing it and setting them around the outside and trying to make sure that they're fairly evenly spaced. And then we're just gonna make a little mark so we know where to place our glue again. So now we can take all those off, take off all that blue tack. And blue tack is just uh, reusable adhesive. Um, if you've never used it before, it's really handy to have in your tinker kits. So now we're just gonna put a little glue on there and then attach the bottle cap. And we're gonna go all the way around doing it for each one to build our little turbine. So when our car is all assembled, the water is going to go onto this and spin, which is going to make the wheels of our car spin. And then it'll roll around. And with each one, you'll want to hold it just for a few seconds until that glue starts to set up, and then you can turn it and do the next one. And there we go. So that's our turbine all put together. Now we have just a skewer that we've cut off that's a little shorter and we're going to go and make sure that our holes go all the way through. 
So you're going to want to just kind of wiggle things around and work it through so that everything fits and is lined up nicely. And you could do this with a full size skewer. We just figured it was easier with the one that we'd already cut off. There you go. Yeah. Make sure you do the turbine as well. We want everything nicely set up. So now we've grabbed our car frame that we prepared earlier and we're going to put the skewer through and then we're going to put the turbine on and then we're going to add the other tire. Now, if you're paying attention, you probably noticed we did something wrong here. So this is the back of our car and we put our turbine on backwards. So we ended up having to take apart our car and reassemble it. So we're going to make sure that we have those bottle caps the right way. You want the water going into the open part of the bottle cap. You don't want it hitting the back of the bottle caps because you want that little bit of weight, which is going to help it spin faster. So now we're just taking some beads and putting them on the uh, outsides of the hubcaps of our tires. And now we'll put our front tire on. So again, just slide that skewer through there. And then we're gonna add some beads again, just to kind of help hold everything in place. And those beads are being held on with a little bit of glue. So we trimmed off the skewers and then added a little blob of glue on the edge there. Now we're going to make the, basically the gas tank is what we're building now. So we're taking a bottle cap again, measuring the middle and then making a hole in the middle of the bottle cap. There you go, we're just melting it again with our glue gun until it's big enough to fit our straw. Now we're using a bendy straw. This helps us to aim the water so it gets really nicely onto that turbine. Um, if you don't have bendy straws, it's fine. You don't need to use bendy straws. You can use a little bit of tubing or anything like that. And we're just gonna get that glued into place there. And we're going to cut off, cut off the top of our bottle, make a little slit, and then you can just use some scissors, and take that top off. There we go. Trim off any little rough edges. Perfect. And we're gonna screw that bottle cap back on with the straw in place. Oh, make sure that fits in the top of our cup. Might have to remake that hole a little bit. There you go, make sure everything's fitting. Here we had to make our hole a little bigger just so our straw would fit through. And now we're just going to make sure that we've glued everything. We don't want water squirting in the wrong directions. So we just put another dab of glue around the outside there, glued it all into place, added our top of our bottle there, glue it all into place, and then all we have to do is fill that gas tank and let her run. So you just fill it with water. You're gonna to wanna to do this outside or somewhere where you don't mind getting things wet because the water will fall on the ground. This is a great STEM activity for you to do with your kids to learn about physics, engineering, and have a whole lot of fun. If you're looking for more STEM activities, visit steampoweredfamily.com. Have a great day, bye for now.